we, we think Nevada as a, as a potential mecca for esports, but because it's not technically a sport, um, every tournament has to be approved one by one. I think the thing is, um, the way this, the, the law is written right now, um, you, it has to get approved tournament by tournament. And, and we work very closely with the Gaming Policy Committee in Nevada. I have to say, uh, from, a, from a regulatory standpoint, they're very forward thinking over there. And we think that uh, as time goes on, that will change. And uh, there'll be blanket sort of rules and blanket approvals for multiple tournaments. And that's when it'll start to take some serious traction. But still a good start, right? Well, anything is a good start at this point. So yes, it is a good start. Okay, so how do you think the legality of esports betting in Nevada will actually change the dynamics of casino in that area? Yeah, it's, um, so, you know, again, I, I think that as, as more tournaments are approved and as, as the process becomes easier, I think that casino operators will, will take it more seriously and create experiences for this millennial audience or this audience of gamers that really love esports and they'll start to dip their toe into the water and, uh, and introduce more than just, you know, gambling experiences on the, on the world tournaments, but things like viewing parties, bringing professional teams in, uh, you know, em embracing things like cosplay, stuff like that that is, that is uh, very relevant uh, to this audience. So, um, but what has to happen is you, you really have to make it easier for the operator to be able to take the bets. Yeah, yeah. Esports is huge in Asia. Do you think this could forecast a change in terms of regulations of esports betting within that region? Uh, within Asia, I'm not so sure. I, I can say that within Europe, it's super popular. So where Unicorn operates, we operate in Australia, the UK, um, soon across Europe. And, uh, you know, it's super popular there, just like sports betting is very popular there. Um, so I, I, I'm not sure about Asia. I think there, there is a social uh, gamblification side, you could say, social gaming that can be introduced. And, and we're already kind of doing that now. Um, I'm just not going to bet on, you know, Asia uh, with, with sports betting at this point.